My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 238. Please turn to it. Page number 238 and today is our lesson number 336. This problem that you see there on page number 238 is the exact same problem that appeared in the original first edition of the revised GRE. We have already solved every single math problem from this book. If you're interested in watching the original solution to the problem, you will find it on day number 122. Let's take a look at it. Today we are going to learn what is known as line symmetry. Line of symmetry. And what is going on here is this. We are given an equation y is equal to 2x plus 5. And what we are being asked here is what we are being asked here is what is the equation of the mirror image of this line? Very simple, very straightforward question. The question is, what is going to be the equation of the mirror image of this line? And the next question is, how do we show it on the graph? Well, we have to show the original line first of all, before we worry about showing before we worry about showing the mirror image of this line on the graph, we have to first show the original line on the graph, then we have to show the mirror image, and once we have shown the mirror image, we can figure out how it reflects along what is known as the line of symmetry. Do you understand? The line of symmetry is your mirror, and the reflection is going to be on the other side. So let's get going, shall we? So here is our equation, y equals to 2x plus 5. We need to plot it, and as we have learned in the last few days, the quickest simplest, most economical method of figuring out how the line looks like on the piece of, piece, piece of graph paper is to locate its intercept, locate its x-intercept and the y-intercept. So let's do that. So when x is equal to 0, y is going to be 2 times x which is 0 plus 5, y is going to be 5. In other words, in other words, the line goes through, the line goes through when x is 0, y we just found out is 5, it goes through 0, 5. 0, 5. x is 0, which is along the y-axis, 0, 5. Let's, let's, let's say it's here somewhere, 0, 5. Now figure out the x-intercept. So to figure out the x-intercept, we have to make it y equal to 0. Because along the x-intercept, x-intercept x means the where will the line cut the x-axis? Well, wherever it cuts the x-axis, all the points along the x-axis have the y coordinates of 0. So we have to set y equal to 0. When y is equal to 0, same exact equation, y equals to 2x plus 5. When y is equal to 0, so it's 2x plus 5. We have to solve this equation for x. So 2x is going to be negative 5, if you bring the 2x to the other side. And x is going to be negative 5 over 2, or negative 2 and a half. And that's x is equal to negative 2 and a half, and y is 0. So this is 5, let's say. If this is 5, negative 2 and a half is here somewhere. Negative 2 and a half and 0. And here's our line. So that's our original line that is given to us, which is y equals to 2x plus 5. Now similarly, we have to plot the mirror image of it. Let's do that here. I need the room, obviously. Give you a second to absorb everything. To find the mirror image, to get our mirror image, we take our original equation. Uh, to find the equation of the mirror image, 
we take our original equation which is this right here and we interchange the positions we interchange the positions of x and y variables and as soon as we do that the equation that we'll get will be the mirror image of the original equation so the original equation is this y equals 2x plus 5 is our original equation right here wherever we see y we replace it with x wherever we see y we replace it with x and wherever we see x we replace it with y that's it this this is the mirror image this is the mirror image but the problem is the problem is we can't leave it like this we cannot leave it like this because it is not written in what is known as the standard form we have to write this equation in the standard form let's do that up here somewhere again we need the room so to find the equation to find the equation of the mirror image we take our original equation right here 2x plus 5 and we interchange the positions of x and y just like we did here and this is the mirror image now now we have we have to write this equation write this equation in what is known what is known as the standard form and the standard form of an equation looks like this y equals to mx plus b it has to be written in this form in other words this y has to come on this side and everything else has to go on the right hand side so this is our equation here x equals to 2y plus 5 we need to bring the y by itself so let's subtract 5 from both sides that drops out the 5 and we end up with 2y we end up with 2y equals x minus 5 we want the y by itself so we have to divide both sides by 2 we're almost done two cancels out and y equals to x over 2 which is same as one half x minus 5 over 2 one this is the mirror image written in the standard form next thing we have to plot it so let's do that very quickly plotting this line is not that complicated we really don't have to do any work at all I'm going to show you the work anyway but in reality we don't really have to do any work at all and the reason is very straightforward listen the mirror image of this thing negative two negative two and a half and zero if you were to take if the mirror is going to be along along 45 degree line the mirror image of this point is going to be right here if this is negative two and a half and zero then this point is going to be zero and negative two and a half zero and negative two and a half right here this is two and a half and zero and this is going to be zero and negative two and a half let's write down the coordinates of this point up somewhere here this point is negative two and a half and zero right here and this is going to be zero and negative two and a half similarly this one is zero five so the, the mirror image will be five zero which we'll find in a second but let's first let me first show you that this in fact is true so we take our original equation here and we make x equal to zero see here x is equal to zero so here is the equation here y equals to one half x 
minus 5 over 2 therefore y equals to 1 half and x is equal to 0 here negative 5 over 2 and as you can see at least negative 5 over 2 which is negative 2 and a half just, just like we predicted just like we predicted it goes through when x is equal to 0 y is negative 2 and a half when x is equal to 0 y is equal to negative 2 and a half just like that now we're going to find out what, what, the, what happens when y is equal to 0 y is going to be equal to 0 along the x-axis take this equation here or we can we, we could have left done in the original other form it, it would be it would be easier to, to solve this thing if we had left it in the original form which was not the standard form but would have been the original the original equation was y equals to 2x plus 5 and from that where we had x equals to 2y plus 5 so if we, if we deal with this form which is exactly the same thing as this equation this equation is the same as this equation except this equation is not written in standard form this equation is written in standard form but if you want to if you want y to be 0 it's much easier actually to deal with the equation in this form there's nothing wrong with it to, to work with this equation in this form there's nothing wrong with it it'll be quicker so when we make y equal to 0 as you can see x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 0 so 0 5 becomes 5 0 somewhere here that's it and the line is going to look like this voila the point where they intersect and the, ori and the point of origin if we combine, if we join this, these two points what we get is what we get is what is known as the line of symmetry the line of symmetry is your mirror and this is the reflection along the line of symmetry whatever this is, if it's reflected along the mirror it's going to look like that and that's it so the line of symmetry equation of the line of symmetry is simply y equals to x or x equals to y it's a it's a 45 degree line See it makes right here this angle here it's a 45 degree angle and that's it we're done what we're going to do tomorrow is to continue with the same concept except we will no longer we will no longer be dealing with something as simple as a straight line a linear equation but tomorrow we'll talk about a line of symmetry in the context of a parabola okay well, that that will come tomorrow what happens if we have a parabola how do we locate this line of symmetry the well, line of symmetry of a parabola will depend on where the parabola is sitting if the parabola is sitting in a standard form just like we have a standard form for the equation here for a, for a linear for, for, for a linear equation for a lin straight line we have mx plus b just like this we have parabola in its standard form in its standard position a parabola in its standard form is when it is sitting right at the origin the, the very bottom point of the parabola is called the vertex if the vertex is sitting right at the origin then it's sitting then, then it is in the standard form in which case the line the line of symmetry is going to be the y-axis because everything is symmetric along the y-axis but what happens if you were to pick up the parabola and begin to move it? There are four different things we can do with the parabola. We can pick it up, we can move it to the left along the x-axis, or we can move it, pick it up and move it, or move it to the right along the x-axis, or we can pick up our parabola and move it up or down along the y-axis. So whether you move it left or right or up or down, those four things will affect its line of symmetry. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.